Hi, and welcome to this week's tutorial. It is a monochromatic mauve makeup application tapping into a fall of 2019 makeup trend, which is mauve from start to finish. I was looking through a lot of the different trends for this fall, some of which are kind of silly and not applicable for this channel. Um, obviously, the bold blood red lip is in again, but it's with a very simple eye look, maybe just a wing black liner, very cool looking but I don't think something that all of us can wear. So I really wanted to pick a trend that is doable and wearable and customizable. So some mauves are pink, some are a little bit more plum, and you can find your own personal variation to get yourself the right look. But what I think is so pretty about it is it's a soft look, it's a smudged look, there are really no hard lines here, and I think it's um, just an overall flattering look for all skin types. So to see how we got here, we got to step it back a notch. You ready? Okay, here is our starting point. Foundation has been applied. Eyelid primer, brows have been deepened just a little bit. And as promised, everything will be in the description portion where it says show more under the description. Click that, it will all expand. If you're watching on your cell phone or tablet, there is an arrow to the right. Hit that and everything will show. So I just wanna make sure you know where to find everything. I am so happy and pleased to tell you that a lot of the products that I featured in my recent drugstore makeup tutorial will be used again in this video. You know I am not about buying and then storing things in drawers. If you're going to buy it, you need to use it. And so I try to present to you things that have multi-purpose, multi-function, and an array of colors that can be used for a lot of different looks. But this look is exciting because I think it's universally flattering. So we're going to launch into it. And I am going to start with this NYX palette, the warm neutrals that I purchased for that video. And we will be focusing on the mauve tones. So, and you can see here in this close-up, there are quite a few, and they offer matte variations and shimmer variations, and we're going to use a little bit of both. But what I want to do at this moment is go in now, and I'm going to push in so you can see up close what's happening. We're going to start on the eye makeup look. So with the NYX Ultimate Warm Neutrals, we're going to start with our eyelid color. It's going to be this soft mauve all the way on the left-hand side using a firm brush to apply. So we'll just take it, get some color, shake the excess, and we're just going to now pat on the eyelid and work our way up into the crease. As you can tell, I have eyelash extensions on so I will be bypassing the mascara application. Okay, so as you can see, we have an all over shade now of mauve on the lid. And I'm going to now come in with this plum. It's like a raisin color, has a tiny bit of iridescence. We're going to work the outer corner with that now with a flat brush. Again, shake off the excess. And just come in and build on the sides. It's a very soft, blended, smoky type of a look. There will be no hard lines or hard liner. A lot of the fall trends do incorporate strong liner, especially with a deep blood red lip, which is also a seasonal trend right now, with just the black winged liner. But I don't feel that everybody can pull that off. Um, you know, better when you're in your 20s or 30s. So I wanted to pick a fall look that I thought everybody could wear. Okay, so we've now blocked it in on the outer corners. And at this point, I am going to line, if I can find it. Aha, <laughs> it took a little searching, but here it is. Okay, it's a NYX pencil, faux blacks, but this is called Blackberry Noir. So it has a purple tint to it and it's going to go in our waterline. And just take your time with this if you're not used to rimming in the waterline. You're going just a little bit underneath just to smoke it out a little and then going on the top waterline. Sometimes it's good just to look up 
and catch it from underneath. So now we're going to take our initial brush that we used for that soft mauve that we used on the lid right here. And we're gonna take this and slightly smudge underneath on the lower lash line. It's a light color, it's not dark, we're not bringing the look down, but we're really just sort of pulling it all together with a bit of a shadowy look. Same for the other side. And then what I do is I take a very small brush, go back into that raisin color, and we'll just smudge a little bit here toward the outside of the eye, just to deepen it a bit there. And the same on the upper lash line, just a tiny, tiny smudge. From here, just the all-important blending brush, and this is to swirl, get rid of any hard lines across the top. And now going in with the highlight color. And you can choose any one of these across the top. There's a white here, kind of a pearl, and a little peachy white. I'm not gonna go with the harsh, harsh white. I'm gonna go with this one, basically third one in. And it's still light enough. And this is going to be the brow bone highlight. And then on the inner corner, there's a little bit of a sparkly mauve right here. I'm just going to use a flat brush and just go in right here. Mascara will go before you apply your concealer and your powder. Keep it to the upper lash line only. You've already smudged on the bottom, so that creates the illusion of having a thicker lash line without having to pull down the lashes, which creates a droopy eye effect. So now take your concealer, mine's still Tarte Shape Tape, a little dabble do ya. I run it underneath my eye and just whisk out to the side. Okay, time to set everything. It will be Laura Mercier, the translucent loose setting powder. I don't know, I think as long as I've had this channel, I've been using this powder. Can't break away from it, have tried others, and what works, works. So I just put it on a puff and press it in. I think it's great actually to find a product that is so great that you just simply can't find a replacement for it. Okay, so let's do a little bit of contouring and highlighting. For that, I'm using Smashbox Contour Palette, and it has your different colors that you need. For the contour, an angled brush. We'll go in with the deepest color, and we're just going to carve out our bone structure. You can carve your forehead if you have a high forehead. A little bit of warmth around the hairline helps to bring that down. Underneath the jawline, to me, one of the most important places, helps to create an angular look. Just be careful here to blend and pull it down. You don't want to look like you've got a stripe underneath your jaw. Again, it's all about creating shadow and light. It's an illusion when done right. She's a poet and didn't know it. <laughs> So corny, I'm sorry. <laughs> to carve out the nose, again, same thing. If you have a long nose, just run it underneath the tip. Helps to shorten. And a wide nose, you run it along the side. So we are contoured, it's time for blush. My blush color of choice is Breath of Plum by MAC. I've had it forever, went online to see if it was still there. It is, that's good news, but a very nice plum color. Uh, angled brush again, going in. A heavy, heavy blush is big this season, but I, you know, anything that stands out too much is just not right. The eye goes right to there, and in my opinion, the eye should just look at this beautiful overall palette that you've created, and someone say, wow, your makeup looks amazing. You don't want this intense, blush focus, so that was a trend that I wasn't too keen on. Um, but again, you want the color scheme to all work together, so we're just doing a light blush application here. Last but not least, going into the highlight color with a fan brush, fan brush, on the fan of the brush, and this is where you bump your cheekbones. 
and you pull forward the middle of your face. So just go right here on the center of your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, a little bit on the tip, above the upper lip, and chin. We okay. are blushed, highlighted, and contoured. Boy, this video is flying by, y'all. Okay, lip liner is uh, one by Huda Beauty. Flirt, flirt, it's in flirt. Can you see the color? Can you see? Very, very neutral. I'm hoping you can see. Okay, so I like a very soft, almost a shadow around the lip instead of a hard line. So what I do is I take the lip liner, I apply it, and then I'm going to smudge it to create a fuller pout. Go, go slightly outside the lip line. And then by using the brush to soften it, it looks almost like a, a shadow instead of a liner. Okay, so you can see it softened it up a little bit and gave us still a border to work with. Now in choosing the color, I, I wanted to make sure that I chose a color that I have used repetitively because it means that I like it and it's something that I honor for fall and I always wear plums for fall so I went digging and rummaging through my lipstick drawer and there were two colors that came up that I have that I have bought over and over and I checked and they are still available both of which are by Face Atelier uh, this is Plum Sorbet it's on the lighter side Crystal Berry is a little bit deeper both beautiful colors both have a little bit of a shimmer to them. Uh, there are matte colors if you like. I'd like a little bit of the iridescence on the lip, just a little. I find this isn't too much. And since I used an iridescence on the um, eye color, especially toward the outside, I'm going to complement it with the lip color. So, an uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the tongue. Ah. Okay, I'm going to go with the deeper one which is Crystal Berry. Why? I don't know. I think because my dress is deeper purple, I'm feeling the deeper purple, but either will work. And again, when it comes to mauve shades or plum shades, find the variation that works best for you. Try on in the store, try different colors. This is deeper, the other's lighter. They both work great. So it really depends on what I'm wearing. So I'm going to take the color and just tap it on. I love these two colors. I love, love, love them. I wear them always. And I have purchased them for quite a while now. So I am happy to share with you the monochromatic mauve face. I think it's a great look. I think it's a wearable look. And I think with your own variations that suit you best, you can make this perfect for you for the fall of 2019. So let's pull out so you can see it all in perspective. Monochromatic Mauve, easy application for the fall of 2019, using some products that maybe you've purchased before and teaching you how great it is to be able to buy things that offer you a variety of applications so that you're not wasting your money on one color per one look. I hope you found this helpful. I hope it's a look that you'll be able to apply for the fall. Give me a thumbs up if you like. Also leave your comments below for more things that you're looking for in the fall of 2019. I am happy to cater because this channel is about you. The discussion continues on social media. Please follow me in all the places below. Of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Um, this community growing by leaps and bounds. You warm my heart and you really just make me feel so blessed to be here. And on that note, I want you to go out, to be bold, to be blessed, to try new things, to have fun with colors and application and makeup and hair and, and whatever it is that suits you. Enjoy the process. And I will see you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye-bye.